Okay everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens to bubbles in space. So to test this, first we need to figure out how to get zero G's. One way to do this is just by dropping something. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this app uses the accelerometers in your phone, so you can test the acceleration and see the G's of gravity. So the blue line here is the Z axis, it's the up and down acceleration. And notice it's at negative one right now, meaning it's one G. Okay, the blue line is showing that I have one G of force. Let's drop my phone. Three, two. See how it jumped up to zero there? So you can see that when you drop something, the thing that is dropped experiences no gravity. And that's what's going on in like the International Space Station that's in orbit around the Earth. It's actually falling around the Earth. That's what in orbit means. So they're continually falling, so they never feel the force of gravity. Okay, so first I'm gonna do the bubble drop with the GoPro attached in a box and the water bottle in the box and we'll see what it looks like. And then afterwards, I'll just attach the GoPro directly to the water bottle and see if it looks any different. I'm guessing there's gonna be a difference and I'll tell you why at the end. So let me know in the comments section what you think will happen in each case where we have the water bottle in a box, the water bottle by itself, which way do the bubbles go? Okay, let's start off with our water bottle in a box drop. Okay, water bottle in a box. Three, two, one, drop. So you can see as soon as I release the box, the bubbles just stop where they were. And actually they don't stop completely. If it were at completely zero G, the bubbles would stop completely but you notice that they continue to go upwards just a little bit. And the reason that happens is because it's not really at zero G because the box is actually falling and it has some air resistance pushing against it and that creates a tiny little bit of G force. So the only true way to simulate zero G is by dropping something in a vacuum. And NASA actually has a big drop chamber like that. It's a huge vacuum chamber and they drop stuff in it to simulate zero G. So to get rid of that, I'll remove the box altogether and just attach the GoPro to the water bottle. You won't be able to see the bubbles quite as well, but you can still see what's going on. And there'll be a lot less wind resistance, so a lot closer to zero G. Let's see what happens. Okay, water bottle drop without a box. Three, two, one, drop. So you can see at the bottom of the bottle, the air bubbles in the water just completely stop and just stand still. And another thing to notice is, notice that before I drop it, the bubbles are all squished because the pressure on the bottom is greater than the pressure on top, so it squishes the bubbles. But when I drop it, since there's about equal pressure on all sides of the bubble, it's almost round. So this test is really cool because it shows that gravity causes buoyancy. Without gravity, there's no buoyancy. And the reason that gravity causes buoyancy is because pressure increases with depth. And so the pressure on the bottom of the object is greater than the pressure at the top, and so it pushes it up. And the reason that pressure increases with depth is because the deeper you go, the more material there is on top pushing down on it, and so the pressure increases. But without gravity, there's no weight, and so nothing is pushing down on it, and so you don't have any greater pressure on the bottom than the top, and so it doesn't push it up. It just stays exactly where it is because the pressure is the same all around it. So in the International Space Station, even though there is pressure pressurizing the cabin, the pressure is equal on all sides of an object. So if they were to blow up a helium balloon on their space station, it would just stay right where it was because there's no up or down because the pressure is equal on all sides of it. So I started off this experiment just jumping off my couch with a big cylinder filled with water while blowing bubbles in it and it didn't work out very well. But then I figured out a better way to do it by hanging it way high up in the air, blowing bubbles and then just letting it drop without me. Again, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to the Action Lab yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for my latest video. And you can leave me any comments or suggestions in the comment section. I get a lot of good ideas from you guys. And thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.